Records are everywhere in Copa CRM. Leads are records, people, companies, pipelines, and tasks are all records. When we create records, there are certain fields that we see every time. Let me show you as an example. If we're going to add a lead, you will notice that there are different fields. As you can see, there's the first name, middle name, last name. There is also the work phone. We have the address. We have the tags. These are all fields that are there that make up each record. And after we fill in all these, we click save. However, as you can see, there are different industries or different circumstances that this CRM is used in. You might want to add a record to this. We're going to discuss today how you can add records and how you can edit some of the records that are there. So to do that, we need to go to the settings and we scroll down to where it says customize. Under customize, you'll find where it says manage fields on records. Once you click that, you will notice that there are leads, people, companies, pipeline, uh, records, and tasks. So you choose the section that you want to work with. Let's say we are working with leads, not people, just leads. To illustrate, let's make use of that use case where a company we are dealing with is a company that uh, provides services for computer repairs or sells computer parts or builds computers. They might want to define customers by saying these are for services, repair services, and these ones are for, let's say, purchasing computers. So if we go through this, we don't see that function there. So we can simply do that by saying create field. Uh, there are different fields that we can make use of. There are checkboxes, there are drop downs with multiple select drop downs several of these that we can make use of right now let's make use of a simple one which is a drop down so we have two services that we've added there computer repair services and computer patches you can always add more options here we need to add the label of the field so we are saying service type and we can add a key field uh, which can be a number or anything let's just write one now, we want this to appear mainly in leads, but we can also add it to people, to companies, and opportunities. I think it would make sense to add it to people, company, and opportunities as well. So it will be duplicated to all of these. You can also add it to pipelines by adding it to opportunities there. So once we do this, we say create field. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that this field would appear uh, in this section. So you can see at the bottom there it says service type we can make it a required field if we want to force people to enter that information all the time you can also make it read only if you want but in this case we are going to leave it as is so if you go up here and you go to the people section remember we duplicated the same you'll find the service type is there as well even in companies we should be able to find it in pipeline records as well so that's how you create a new field. If you want to edit any of these fields, you can just say edit custom fields. You come here, you click the edit field there. It gives you those options to change the information that's there so that you can change the field that you want to work with. So that's how you add. However, there are different types of fields that are there. There's a type of field that I would like to explain to you it's a bit unique and it's different from some of these fields that we have here it's called a connect field so let's go to where it says people here that's where it usually works but you can use it in so many circumstances you create the field and you choose the type to say connect field it's used to create relationships between two fields in two different areas so you can have a relationship of a manager or managed by it has been referred by let me just explain how it works so let's create a new relationship here which will make it easier we want to connect this person record to a company so in this record in this person record we can say this person manages and then here we can say this is the managing director 
So these records will be linked to each other. If a person is a managing director in a certain company, it will appear here to say this person manages this company. Here as the managing director of this company, they will also appear on the person record. So let's create this record. As you can see at the bottom, we have the managing director record. That's under people. Then under companies, you will find that there is a record that's the a field that says manages. So these are linked together. Let's go and demonstrate how these work. And we're also going to look for the service type there. So let's go to the people there. And we're going to add a new person. Now in the new person, we're going to name that person Larry G. And then we're going to look for where it says service type. Remember, we added two service types and this person, let's say, wants to purchase computers. This is the type of client that we're looking at. But he's also the managing director of a certain company that is there. We can create a new company or link him to an existing company in the database. So let's use an existing company. Let's me write G. So there's a grass company there. And then we can add all the information that's required. But right now, we just want to make sure that the record has these for demonstration purposes. So we click Save. Once we do that, if we go then to this person, Larry, you will notice that this person, Larry, if we go to their full page, if you go to extreme left at the bottom there, it says the managing director of grass company is Larry. If we then go to the companies and go to this company page and we scroll down on your left, you also find that Larry G manages this company. So it's a connection between the two records. So you can create so many types of connections between these records and this is how you do it. So the next question is how would you delete or edit a record? We go back to the settings and we scroll down to the managed fields on records. If you want to edit custom fields that you have, you can simply come here and then click the edit field. It allows you to manage these. You can also delete these fields by simply clicking on this icon and then click delete and that is gone permanently. It's done. On existing fields, there are a few things that we can do there. There are fields we cannot deactivate, but there are fields that we can deactivate like this one. So if it's grayed out, we can't deactivate. If you have deactivated and there are inactive fields, you can always add them back by clicking that plus sign and they'll be added back to your uh, record fields. So this is how you can play around, add or remove some sections uh, which are default sections within the managed fields section. So that's all you need to know about managing fields on your records.